Hello out there from FixEasy.com. Today we are going to be working on an iPad 3. Changing a couple of parts today, one of them being a touchscreen digitizer and the other an LCD liquid crystal display. To do this process, we're going to need a series of tools, the first one being a plastic spudger. Additionally, a set of plastic opening tools. Plastic guitar pick style opening tools will also come in handy. A small Phillips screwdriver. And finally a heat gun or a blow dryer. Before we start this process, we do want to point out one point of interest on this particular unit, and that's on the left-hand side of the iPad, about two inches from the bottom. We need to recognize that the ribbon cable for the front touchscreen digitizer is in this location. So when we do peel back that front touchscreen, we're mindful that the cable is there so that we don't cause any permanent damage to the unit. With that being said, we can go ahead and start with our heat gun or blow dryer. and soften up the adhesive enough for us to be able to get a plastic opening tool in there and cause some separation. Once our adhesive is softened up, we can take a plastic opening tool and begin to find that separation of the front touchscreen and the base of the iPad. Once you have an entire side complete, a guitar pick style opening tool comes in handy. Placing it in the separation while you continue to work around the rest of the iPad with another guitar pick. Now that you have separation around the entire iPad, Let's take our screwdriver and remove these screws. With these four screws removed, you should be able to utilize a spudger or plastic opening tool and peel up the loosened LCD from its location and fold it over on top of the touchscreen digitizer. With the LCD peeled back, you can follow the ribbon cable into its socket, recognize that there's a piece of black electrical tape that needs to be removed, and that the socket has a locking tab, which requires to be flipped up before the release of the LCD ribbon cable can take place. Removal of the front touchscreen digitizer ribbon cables is just as easy. The same black electrical tape will be on top of the socket. Notice there are two cables, both with locking tabs. Unlock the two tabs, release the cables, and remove the touchscreen from the iPad. Do remember, your replacement touchscreen digitizer may not come with a home button and a camera backplate. 
so do not forget to transplant them from the old unit to your new replacement parts. Let's go ahead and begin the reassembly of our iPad 3, starting with our front touchscreen digitizer. Situating it in a position to where we're not putting too much tension on the ribbon cable and allowing us to plug that back into its socket. With our touchscreen in place, we can now reinstall our LCD, installing it the same way that it was removed, laying it first on top of the touchscreen digitizer, allowing enough slack on its ribbon cable so it can comfortably reach the motherboard. Sliding in our ribbon cable to its sockets, not forgetting to utilize the lock on the socket to secure the cable. And finally, applying the piece of black electrical tape to the top of the socket. With all of our cables in place, we can now flip the LCD into its location and secure it with the four Phillips screws. piece of assembly, we can reposition the touchscreen onto the front of the iPad 